Hey there, 90 Day Fiance fans. It's me, Shawnee Flowers, reality TV editor for Monsters and Critics, bringing you the top five tweets from this week's episode of 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After. And yet again, we are still dealing with a bunch of really unhappy couples to the point where maybe we should call this season Unhappily Ever After because that fits a whole lot better now, doesn't it? Tweet number one. Shida and Bilal need to find something else to fight about. Yes, yes please. Shida and Bilal have been fighting all season long about whether or not he's going to give her a baby. And it's something that they already worked out. It's in their prenup. If he doesn't give her that baby, he has to pay. Now, here we are arguing about it on Unhappily Ever After, where Bilal doesn't want to give a time frame, and Shida's acting like her biological clock is ticking so hard it's about to come off the wall. Just give her a baby dude or let her know that you don't want one. Either way, let's get this out of the way so that we can actually watch something enjoyable. Thanks. Tweet number two. This stay in Europe is starting to look like a rest stop on the road to divorce, Yara. Well, yeah, because Yara and Jovi don't like each other and they don't get along. All we've seen on this season of Happily Ever After is these two fighting it and always at each other's throats. They can't seem to agree on anything. And it certainly doesn't help that they got all the way to Europe before Yara popped the big surprise that she doesn't want to come home with them. Don't they already have tickets purchased? Like, isn't that what normal people do? Or is this all just part of the script? I guess we'll find out. Tweet number three. I didn't see a single teardrop fall from Angela's eyes. Seriously, you guys, I was looking really hard trying to see if there was any kind of actual real crying, but it was all Angela crocodile tears, which makes us think that this might have been like not real. After all, we saw the messages from this, from Michael to this girl on Instagram and she never responded, or at least we didn't see her responses. So that's weird. Also, I just want to point out a little 90 Day Fiance spoiler for y'all. They've been tearing it up on TikTok lately, so Angela and Michael, they're not done. Tweet number four. When you hope setting someone free makes them like you more. As we've seen on the latest episode of 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, Jovi is doing the most to try to make Yara happy. He even gave her her way. He didn't ask her for anything in return. And you can tell just by the whole back and forth between them throughout all of this that his big worry is that she's just gonna stay in Europe and never come home. But even he admitted that she's obviously really unhappy living in Louisiana, and honestly, who could blame her? So he's gonna give her what she wants and let her stay in Europe with her mom and her friend in hopes that it'll make her miss him and want to come expand the family with him and not leave him to be in Europe with her friends and family. Tweet number five, and this is the last tweet of the night, but definitely not the least. Charlie showed up to this family therapy session ready to fight. And then when he got called out on it, he, called, he said he was joking and that actually Andre attacked him first. But Charlie, the cameras were running. We know what happened. And if y'all want my honest opinion about Libby's family, I like Andre a whole lot better than I'll ever like Charlie. He's trouble. All right, guys, again, this is Shawnee Flowers, reality TV editor for Monsters and Critics. You can follow me on Twitter, at Shawnee Says. While you're here, make sure to hit that like button and also follow us on our Monsters and Critics YouTube page so that we can bring you all the greatest in, in reality TV entertainment. Have a good night.